What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna look at functions and Go. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna look at functions and Go. But before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at functions and Go. And functions and Go are pretty straightforward. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and a Git Bash terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Go videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so I've got a file, I'm just calling it func.go, if you and see. And we've got our main function here that we always have. So to create a function in Go is very simple. You just sort of outside of your main function here or anywhere, you just use the func keyword and then name it. So I'm gonna call this my function, right? Not a very interesting name. And then we have parentheses and we'll look at those in a second. Right now they'll be empty. And then we have our brackets here. And inside of our brackets, you can do whatever your function wants to do. So if we just wanna print something to the screen, let's go fmt.println. And let's just say, you know, hey, this is my function, right? So if we ran this, nothing would happen or we might even get an error because functions only run if you specifically call them. And we've defined our function here, but we haven't specifically called it. So here in our main function, we need to call this function if we wanna use it. So to do that, we just copy this little bit, paste it in, and we're good to go. So that's all there is to it. We go ahead and save this, head back over to our terminal and let's run go run funk.go. And when we do, this is my function. So that's really all there is to it. So very simple, very straightforward. Now, of course, that's just a very basic function. And more likely than not, you're gonna wanna pass something into your function and then use it. So to do that, you just define the things that you wanna name right here. And it's very similar to defining any other variable. You name it. So let's say we wanted to pass in first name, right? And then you have to also say, well, what kind of variable, what kind of data type, what is this thing? So this is gonna be a string, right? And when we put that in there, this changes color. So here, if we wanted to use this, we could come down here and we could fmt.print line, and we could say, you know, hello, and then pass in our first name. So now, if we run this, we'll get an error because down here when we call the function, we're not passing in anything. We're not passing in that first name. So to pass in a thing, we just, you know, type in the thing. So I wanna pass in John. John becomes this first name variable that we can then reference in our function. So if we save this and run it, we'll see, hello, John. And, you know, if we wanted to then change this or call it a second time, we could. And instead of passing John, we could pass in Mary. If we save this and run it, we see this is my function, hello, John. This is my function, hello, Mary, right? So very simple. So that's passing one item. We could also pass several items. So here we could say a number, right? And then up here, we have to account for that. So let's say this is an age and we wanna call it that an integer. So here we could say, hello, first name, you are age years old, right? So if we save this and run it, we can sort of expect what will happen here. Hello, John, you are 44 years old. And it's just that easy. So those are the basics of functions with Go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeby.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. That's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Doing over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeby.com, and I'll see you in the next video.